Hello everyone, welcome to the very first Sir Chancelot commentary track. Oh, so we're just getting right into it, okay. So, this doesn't have subtitles, or at least the DVD that I have does not have any subtitles. You can change, like, the quality of the sound itself, but you can't turn on subtitles. So, we're going to struggle through this, just so you know. So, why do we have narration? Before the Empire. The Mites. Bruh. Title card. Oh, wow. It's, they're really... They designed one title card, and they are going to milk that. They're, that's going to show up three times. Oh, wow. <laughs> how much How much narration are we doing? Have? Did I turn on the commentary feature? <laughs> oh, what? Oh, wow. That's... Whoa. I was going to say something, but then I decided not to. No, wait, so the... What? Django Unchained copied this? What? Effects. Specifically the alien effects. The other effects are someone else. Bruh. So far, this is hitting pretty much every cliche you could possibly think of. Wait, so the humans are enslaving each other? What? Or is that like separate from the alien invasion? It's just like an apocalypse. Oh, it's an apocalypse caused by aliens. I think I'm getting it now. It's a play on the title. You know, humanity's worst enemy or, uh, humanity's worst enemy turned out to be themselves. I got it. I got it. literally planted the apes you know i was just thinking like there are twenty three thousand movies on that list and what wow this this dialogue is awful. Huh? Oh. Look at the dubbing. Is that my headphones or is that... Jeez. Oh, this dubbing is so bad. This is an Italian... Wait, is this an Italian film? Because the poster on Letterboxd was Italian, but that's, like, the only thing. It was filmed in, like, some, like, weird, like, Bulgaria or something. Like, some, like, strange, like, unexpected place. Backyard. Bruh. Aha. You know how humans laugh. Bruh. What? Is that the back of their head? The great healer. <laughs> oh, this is awful. Your theories. Yeah, that, that was the line. Line? <laughs> it cuts to... <laughs> This is like a soundstage. This is the whole. This is Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. It's just Rick Dalton forgetting his line. It just completely turns into a different movie. This is a movie. This is the making of Alien Apocalypse, and they just kept the first take. There was a there was a horrific mix up in the editing bay. They kept leftover footage for the behind the scenes. They accidentally put that in the final thing. Bruh. Wasn't... 
<laughs> Wait, why are you? What does that have to do with just now? Like you're in the desert and you found Portland. Like, <laughs> I have radiation force field. Oh no. I was thinking about one, there's a one in 23,000 like chance of me watching this right now. I'm just thinking about all of the other timelines, the tw the thousands upon thousands of timelines where I am not watching this right now. Literally anything other than this. Greetings. <laughs> what? Wait, so how many years in the future are they? Wait, what? How'd they get behind them? What? They teleport? You are already dead. Oh my Romu. I don't know how to say it. I'm not gonna try. Bruh. Why is she just now limping? She was walking fine like two seconds ago. Bruh. Okay, this is awesome. They really just, they really just killed someone. Sense of hope. Wait, so is he narrating? What is the point of this narration? What is, why are they walking? Bro, I did not expect this. I wasn't even trying, like, inherently to watch, like, a bad movie, you know? Like, I just thought, hey, every horror film, there's a lot of good ones, a lot of bad ones, a lot of unknown ones. I want to watch one, just luck of the draw. And somehow, I... D <sighs> Why did I give... I gave them the, my money. I paid $10 for this DVD. Whoa. I'm really confused about the relation between the aliens and the slavers, I guess. Like, why are... Ah. Uh... Bruh. Oh, he just called them slaves, so I guess I would call them slavers. That is the correct term. Where do you, like, find the humans? I'm so confused by this. Through Portland. Bruh, it's Half-Life. This little, like, teleport thingies in Zen. Bro, it's Half Life. Half Life, but Planet of the Apes, but awesome, but epic. I think this whole thing is dubbed. Is this Italian? Am I like missing? Am I missing something? I feel like I'm like outside of the joke. Well, the joke is on me because I paid $10 for this movie, for this DVD. Why are they just calling, it's a, literally our slaves, okay. This is literally Planet of the Apes. Is, is this not like exactly what happens? It's been a while since I've seen that movie, but don't they like kill off one of them immediately? And then they bring him in I think there's only one of them. What are they doing? Bruh. What? Are those aliens in disguise? Or are they just, like, evil people? Like, why do they... What? I, don't know, I assume they'll explain it, but still. I mean, they even had narration. Oh, so they just go right... 
<laughs> it's so well, poorly made. I was about to say well made. I think that's just... <laughs> you can't stop working. Hey, you can't stop working. I'm so confused by what's happening. I, I literally feel like this is a joke. I feel like I'm just not in on the joke. So, if the people are just, bruh, is he cutting off their hand? I thought it was neutering them. Maybe I'm, <laughs> maybe I need help. What? Is it like a, dude, it's like a wasp nest. Kind of like, kind of like a bug. Kind of like a bug. If you think about it, mites, M-I-T-E as in termite, they're kind of like bugs. Aliens kind of like bugs. I don't know. I don't know. I am going to be drinking a Diet Coke uh, during this. And so if there's like gaps of silence, like edited silence, uh, that's me covering my tracks. Why are they scared? Why are they, like, scared here? Why are they doing any of the things that they are doing? Stop doing the things that you are doing and do everything else. I also have chips, but I choose not to eat them because I feel like that would mess up my voice. Oh, wow, they're, they are shocked. Unmask them. No! That is bad and topical. Bruh. My name Jeff. <laughs> Who am I? I am the leader. What? Bruh. Oh, it looks so bad. <laughs> when I tell a joke. Bruh. Oh, oh no. I am in shock of what I just saw. This is unreal. Is this, is, how did this, how did I randomly select this? Please don't tell me they eat the wood. Please tell me their oh, their food is wood and people. They they can only eat two things: people and wood. They're incredibly calm, considering like fifty percent of them have been. Also, this isn't really an apocalypse. This is incredibly like structured. There's like a hierarchy. There's like a bureaucracy even. Of like serving masters and like this is not what an apocalypse is. This is just like a different regime and government. Like if you think about it, this is unless unless the apocalypse is caused by the astronauts. Unless the apocalypse this is like post apocalypse, but like regained order, you know? Like, this isn't Mad Max. Like, because they have organized districts. Like, I don't know. Is that an apocalypse? Does that still count as an apocalypse, you know? Like.
What do you mean? Bruh. <laughs> oh, me IRL. Bruh. It's pretty topical. <laughs> Why was that so funny? Hey, they had one joke. One joke. I don't even know. Is any of this a joke? Is, I feel like this whole thing is just a joke. Why did it fade to black? Fade to black? Are you joking? Like, not even, like, like three seconds later. Was this, like, a made-for-TV movie? Oh, wait, it is. It aired on the Sci-Fi Channel. <laughs> ah, good point. Like, how did I get this? Like, how? Out of 23,000, how and why? I'm not even mad. This is like, oh, what was that just like? This is like Cool Cat level. There he is! You know, that. <laughs> I would not be surprised if Cool Cat had a cameo in this. I would not be surprised if Derek Savage showed up somewhere in the credits. <gasps> His name Jeff? Bruh, he's my favorite. Bruh, Jeff, Jeff is relatable. Jeff is me IRL. To me IRL for me IRL. Jeff be like, bruh. <laughs> that was interesting cut. Wood. They're here for wood. Uh... Bruh, it's a callback for the 10 minutes we've known these characters. Bruh. That's screenwriting 101. Don't show a gun in the first act if it is not fired by the third. Oh, my name Jeff. Bruh, he's, he's a master of writing. Talking about fingers, I wasn't even paying attention. Bruh. It's so fake! That looks like one of the rubber hands, like... You know, I don't know if anyone knows what I'm talking about. It's like the little hand that you would put on your finger. I don't know. I don't know. That you would win at, like, an arcade prize. It looked like that. Bruh. 35? Bruh, he's so old. It's like half of Keemstar's age. Hey, that was, that was pretty comical. You <laughs> you got the line out. You got the line out. It's just the first take. Bruh. So this is not an apocalypse at all. 
the dark time before the Empire. <laughs> Old man, me when I'm talk about Keemstar and H3, be quiet, older man. That was pretty funny, actually. <laughs> I'm in, I'm still in awe. I'm in shock that this is 88 minutes long. I mean, when did they air this, do you think? Probably at, like, 2 a.m. Like, even when, like, the people that purposely stay up for weird television, like, even after they've gone to sleep, that's when they tried to air this. It's unreal how this is a thing that exists. This is, like, best of the worst material. I should send in this DVD. Do you think they still accept stuff? I should send in this DVD. I mean, I don't know, I might, I think I might save it. It should, it belongs in a museum. Yeah, I need to pay attention now. So they're going to freedom to go to the president who would be Bush? Yeah. So that's awesome. Or Bush's, or no, just they, the senators they said? I don't know. I don't. Why would they say the president if they meant the senators? I don't know what's happening. I'm just waiting for Cool Cat to show up. What? Okay. How much time are they going to say passed? Or is this the same night? I like to think this is the same night. There's no way they can imply that this is the same night. No, her hair is longer. How can they skip forward that much amount of time and not show us, like, the daily lives of these people? Because I thought it was incredibly common for them to, like, you know, lose fingers, work, like, insanely difficult tasks for all day for people that have guns and will shoot you and also the aliens probably just eat people but yeah we'll just skip a couple of weeks without showing you even a single day of the just average life oh yeah it makes sense who's cutting down the trees trees those trees seem incredibly thin considering the amount of like just blocks they're able to cut out of them also, they're wearing the same clothes. Don't think I haven't noticed that. This movie had a budget of 1.5 million, by the way. Did I mention that? Did I mention that? Then I'm alone. Bruh. What? The cuts and the editing is so strange. Like, why is this, like, playful music going on while he's trying to save someone from a heart attack? What is happening? I also, I just want to say, I want to go on the record and say that I, never mind. Oh, no. Oh. <sighs> yeah, disgusting. Savages eating with utensils. What do you mean how low people can get? They are eating from a bucket. Like, okay, I guess. Like, what about, like, if they fought each other or, like, killed each other? That would be pretty low. It's not like they're eating, like, it's not like they're turning to cannibals. They're eating, like, rice or something. Oh, it's crazy how far people could go. Uh... Like, what about the literal human slave masters? Like... I don't know what's happening.
Okay. All right. Okay. This is like Garfield cart graphics. <laughs> it, it, that's what it looks like. It looks like a PS1, like... How much time has passed? Has any time passed? Is this the second day? Or did she just like let her hair down? Or am I, No? It's like Shawshank Redemption, but... Planet of the Apes, but... Directed by Derek Savage. Bruh. Why am I making this commentary track? Like, no one is just gonna be like, hmm. I wonder. I, I wonder if anyone's made a commentary track for this obscure DVD that I have. Oh, they have. I'm, I'll, we, I'll play it at the same time. And if you're just watching this without playing the movie, I don't know what to tell you. Bruh. Oh, wow. They have so much on screen chemistry. You know, I mean, he's a male and she's a female. I mean, that's right. Screenwriting 101. I mean, seriously. I sure do love these characters that are so likable and relatable. And I totally know and understand. Bruh. This doesn't make- what? Are they just- Is this a new romance? I mean, they lived in a spaceship together for 40 years. So, is, are they implying that this just happened? Are they implying that- well, How much time has passed? Is this supposed to be a montage? Because it looks like it's just like their third day here. That's what I'm getting from this. Like, there's no way that's what they're intending. This has to be like a montage, like years later. You drive me crazy. What does that even mean? What? Why does this get intense music, but we got like playful, like, comedy music? Bruh, she is crucified. Bruh, it's an allegory for racism and slavery. It's like if the aliens was... <laughs> Do the masks, like, make them physically incapable of speaking, or is it, like, just a mask? Because you, you didn't have to take off the mask in order to make any sound, you know? Oh, these are some awesome stock sound effects. <laughs> what just, he just, she like pushed him into a wall and he just died, basically. Freedom. Bruh. What it? Wait, so now they're all on board? What? They were just not on board, and then now that, that what? Or is that just what? What is happening? What are they implying as well? This is clearly like a allegory for slavery, but Oh no. Ah. Uh... This is like Spy Kids 2. Bruh. What? Mm. 
What did they throw? Is that a bone? Bro, it's just like 2000. <laughs> it's just everything that happens. I'm like, oh, it's a different movie. Oh, oh, pretty funny. Mm. Uh. <laughs> Bruh. POV alien. This is so low res and just like it just looks so bad. I can barely even like understand what those aliens are. What is he carrying? Bruh. How, how exciting. How enthralling. I'm completely invested. You know, will they make it to the Senate? <laughs> will they, will they make it? To the mountains. Bruh, it's a story about hope. And, you know, it's about family. It really is. It's about a 35-year-old man. A 35-year-old man. He's 35. Wait, they left Jeff. That's, that's epic. Bruh. <laughs> Very odd cuts, almost like they're. <laughs> also, why do they have like no a? Okay, so now they have just grenade launcher. What? They were so far away. Bruh. Where are they? This is like frustratingly like like not that I haven't seen movies that are worse than this, but it's just that I literally could be watching a good movie. It's just that I have a 1 in 23,000 chance of watching this and somehow I am. What just happened? What? So did they fall or did they jump? And then did they shoot them or did they just fall? <sighs> Commercial break. They're dead, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, we are watching him. We are watching this. I Oh. All right. So what I was trying to say earlier is just that I wanted to state that I was watching I had 7 Samurai on the TV and I was watching it. And then I was like 20 minutes in, I was just like, "You know what?" The longer I wait to record the or to watch Alien Apocalypse, just the harder it's going to be on me. And so I stopped watching Seven Samurai so that I could watch Alien Apocalypse. I just wanted to state that and just how it was worth it in the end. Bruh. Ivan? Alex? What? <laughs> she had to really think about it. I mean, it's debatable. Yeah, if he's such a good doctor, why hasn't he, like, 
tended to anyone's wounds. Like, it seems like they cut off fingers, like, every day. Wow, that's a callback to a joke from earlier. Oh. Bruh. That's pretty funny. Wait, so did the girl just die? She just get hit by a grenade and die? I th or, I don't know, she's probably going to come back and like... I don't know. He looks like a spaceman or something. What? He, but there are literally aliens. What? Bruh. 40 years? Are you, you're joking. 40 years is not enough time to pass so that... All of humanity's, like, cultural understandings is just completely erased, right? Like, this isn't... They're not living in some alien, like, alien-built society. They are... They built that town using the same, like, architectural techniques that humans used 40 years before. So, what... It's a joke. That was... They barely did any sound effects for that. Haha. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Bruh, it's just like the last samurai, bro. Bro, what if we made a movie that was like... <laughs> Knock it off. When H3 releases a third Keemstar video. Knock it off, old man. <laughs> What is the what if they just say and Bruh What did he just say? Wait, did he just say what I think he just said? I think he did. I wish I had subtitles, but they are not, <laughs> they did not put any effort in that. Bruh. You have my soul. Bruh, interesting how the only female that's not fully dressed is the one that's going to go with them. Bruh. <laughs> I feel like... I like to think that, like, a lot of thought and effort went into this. And, like, they... Bruh.
They really think they're th they really think it's funny. Bruh, it's fish out of water. Bruh, I am in a society that doesn't understand human cultural interactions. But like they still say stuff like man, bruh, you know, like stuff like that. So why don't they know what a handshake is? Like that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Like 40 years is not enough time for this to happen. Why isn't, why is it not like 400? Why is it 40? That doesn't make any sense. Because I guess just because they wanted to have the president lives like storyline. Oh, I don't know. What are they doing now? I don't know. Bruh. <laughs> I'm a gross southern person. I am speaking in a strange way. I have a gun. I d Bruh. Bro, the aliens are just like us. Maybe we can come to an understanding. You're sending him back to his home world. Meh. <laughs> uh, man. Oh, fade to black. All right. How many more do you think there are? Is it Jeff? Oh, we're back to Jeff. She did not move her mouth. Bruh. At least Jeff is here. Why not? That makes no sense. <laughs> oh man no one's ever killed one before it's got everyone think <laughs> the doc killed the mite everyone's thinking about it pan to people talking about it <laughs> wait what was that flag what oh it's right there why did why did they cut from the establishing shot to <sighs> So, like, the American flag still exists. People know who the president is. How do they not know what a handshake... That bothers me. That bothers me. The CG, the narration, the editing, whatever. So this just turned into a completely different movie. Because now they're going on an adventure to find the president. And he has a bow and arrow. He has a bow and arrow. He, bruh, is such an adventure. This is this had a budget of one point five million. I do not understand why it looks so bad. I mean, like I get that one point five million. Yeah, there have been films shot in, with budget of one point five million, but that doesn't count for inflation and stuff. But still, one point five million. I mean just the look of it. Like I don't understand where the money went. I mean I guess the Bruce Campbell? I mean, how much do you think he chart? I mean, I don't know. I don't know much about Bruce Campbell. He might have gone like the Nick Cage route. Is Nick Cage just like <laughs> millions of dollars in debt? And so that's why he's in so many like awful movies. He just takes every role he's offered. So I don't know like if Bruce Campbell needs to do like, I, I mean, that's his like thing. He just he's in these campy like bad movies. 
but like I don't know if he charges a bunch or like if he I don't know because I don't want to just say that he's <laughs> oh that that was not funny in the way they wanted it to be hey <laughs> It's 2005. This looks like 60s movie. I am about to operate. Doing operate. I will now operate. <laughs> he just stabs him. It's like... <laughs> I really want him to just be like... Oh, I feel a lot better now. Thank you. Why, yes, I do. Thank you. I feel much better now. Thank you, doctor. So he knows, so he knows what a doctor is. This is so confusing. Like, even for a bad movie, that makes no sense. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> I feel so much better. <laughs> he just w what? <laughs> he looked right in the camera. Oh, nice. This is literally like a YouTube video. This is literally... This is shot like a Dr. Swirl video. Shout out to my... To all the Swirl girls watching this video. This is like a Dr. Swirl video. Uh, it's not even in the water. Like, it's literally just lines of dialogue that could be changed to make this, like, understandably bad. This is just like, what? <laughs> I do, I do want your fish. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> I don't know what that is. This is 40 years in the future. <laughs> this is so dumb. This is so strange. Because it's like... Bad because it's good. Or, no. Good because it's bad actor, but given, like, intentionally, like, it's weird because it's forced, right? Bro, it's just like the Twin Peaks bomb. Yeah! Yeah! Bro, now that was a transition. Now that is filmmaking. They don't know. He should just be speaking gibberish. Like, he doesn't. They don't know what a radio is, right? Or, like, they don't have a concept of money.
So that did just happen. So what's the point of this other female character? This is incredibly confusing. <laughs> so strange. Space military became a space cop. Bruh. No, the aliens had to come and invade. Uh. I, I don't, I, and the, okay, we're back, next day, whoa, whoa, what is this dialogue? Bruh. I'm going to go check it out. This is like parody. I But I don't... I mean, it probably is. I feel like 2005, like the... The... The bad, good movie. Or vice versa. Is like already been established like cult movies of well i mean it's like bruce campbell you know like evil dead franchise stuff like that i mean they get him in this because they want to make the next you know Isn't that like an incredibly difficult operation, right? You isn't that like what kills you? If you Isn't that what would kill you? Like if you take the arrow out? Like that's the same thing with like a stingray or a um spear or whatever, right? Am I wrong? That's what killed the 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 cool nature guy the stingray what was his name Steve Irwin or something pulling the arrow out would kill you like I don't know I mean I'm not a doctor like Bruce Campbell but imagine like sitting through commercials and watching this. Imagine spending $10 and getting this DVD. I'm shocked that Amazon... This was like Prime and everything. <laughs> hey, man. Oh. They ducked before the shot. They ducked before the shot. Bruh. Bruh. Bruh, this is like...
What? 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 Oh, Bruh, it's about friendship. It's about family. It's a film about family, really. No. Get it. What? I might know about a different one. No, we're talking about this one. Oh, I know that one. <laughs> Are they like, what? This is literally like a Dr. Swirl video. But like, unironically. Bruh. Where's Derek Savage? <laughs> it's like, I know where he is. Yeah, he just so happens to be like three feet from where you were. I'm s what was that delivery? All right, that was pretty funny. I'm gonna laugh. I'm actually about to laugh. Wait, so if he was such like a murderous like sociopath, why is he like so friendly with the president? Bruh. Bruh. Um, are there senior citizens? Like, senators? Whoa, okay. I almost forgot. Bruh. <laughs> I like to think it's just a soundboard. They just keep playing the same thing. Oh, man. Bruh. Derek Savage as the... Pr and pre <laughs> please welcome George Bush. <laughs> How would you tell? It was on your uniform. What? Wait, so did the, 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 oh, 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 boo, doo, 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 doo. Bruh. This is the, the the sixth step in the story circle, meeting the goddess when the characters get to their goal, but it's not what they envisioned. Bruh, screenwriting 101, they are so good and talented and cool. Pretty spooky. <laughs> so you're telling me that no one in the entire Earth has tried to just, like, you know, throw a pebble? Or, you know, shoot a gun? Like, it's not like the... Like, they, 40 years. 40 years. Like, that's not enough time. B 
the woman I love. I am so confused. How much time passed? Ah. <sighs> Maybe the real alien apocalypse was just the friends we made along the way. It's so strange that the trailer only showed the beginning and what I can only assume will be the final act, the battle against the aliens. It showed nothing about that whole, like, adventure to the president plot, like, arc, which was the majority of the movie. That's very strange. Almost like that whole thing could have been just <laughs> cut out and it changes none of the appeal of the movie. Bro, he's sparking the rebellion. <laughs> Why is he like... Like, they, they are capable of speech. It's not like they're illiterate or anything. They... Oh no! <sighs> it's insane. What is this narration? Why? Like, I, it has to be intentional. That is too many cliches to not be intentional. What's wrong with him? Just that he's, like... They aren't doctors. Why are they helping? He didn't teach them anything. Hey, that's pretty good. Bruh. No, I just spilt my Diet Coke. I just spilt my Diet Coke. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. I knocked the bottle over, but it was almost empty, so not much spilled. So it's a false alarm, guys. This is insane that this is still going on. I'm so, like, I'm still in shock. Like, I don't think I've gotten over the, the like, incoherentness. Or just, like, the, I don't know. I don't know what, like, the one thing is. It's the story, but it's, like, things happening. And it's not even that they aren't set up. It's very strange about what's not working. I mean, there's. I think it's just so many, but it's hard to pinpoint, like, how... It's hard to express, I think. Bruh.
Maybe the real freedom were the friends we made along the way. So strange. I think I think the thing is that it's so simple. It's so basic that like other bad movies like try to do so much. I think this is just so straightforward and also all of the, you know, typical things that bad movies like fall into. But I think this is just so very like straightforward and simple that it's like all amplified. And it's trying to be funny as well. That's another thing. Where did the budget go? I mean, I guess these sets, I mean... I'm actually going to check, I'm going to check for like inflation costs to see like what this would have cost in 1970. Okay, so in 1970, 1. 1.5 million would be 300,000, which is kind of like, okay, what about, okay, well, it's not as bad as I thought. It's not as bad as I thought, okay? Bruh, this sure is terrifying. It's just things that happen. Bruh. <laughs> Why are we getting all these shots of them just waking up? How much time just passed? Bruh, you gotta stop him. I just... <laughs> uh... <laughs> okay. Your stupidity terminal. Bruh. Bruh. Try and get some sleep. Bruh, it's the, it's the dark final chapter. How much longer? I really don't know how much time has passed since we started this. I'm like, I'm assuming that this ha I'm thinking that it's just gonna abruptly end, though. That's what I'm predicting. It's going to end very abruptly and without much conclusion. Like, I think the actual battle is going to be quite short, and most of it already showed up in the trailer. That's my prediction. Because I feel like... And they're probably not going to show much of the preparation for the battle either. Oh, no, it's starting right now, it looks like. Oh, yeah, they, they, they wasted no time. So, 
again, is this the next day? Are they implying that there was training or it just started? They all shooting at one guy. <laughs> All right, that's one arrow. Okay, two arrows. Oh, so they're shooting them from through the fence. What? Now there's no fence, okay. What? Is there not a fence? There's clearly a fence. Bruh. Money, money, I like money, 1.5 million. Bruh, Ralph the Movie Maker's movie, Lover, that costs like $10,000. And it was like, I mean, it's not, an, to be fair, it is not about an alien apocalypse. So I guess I can't be talking. I guess they spent... None of the budget on making it look good. I spent all of it on production design and getting Bruce Campbell, I assume. Oh. Uh. Bruh. Bruh, it's just like Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Bruh, it's the, it's the hive. Okay, I don't think you... It would probably be better if you, like, shot multiple places instead of just the same spot. But okay, I guess. It's not catching fire. You did... Your efforts were futile. Fall back? You haven't even done anything to the actual ale... What? I'm... just 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 i'm just gonna watch i'm just watching the movie <sighs> fade to black all right And now they have the thing that they showed in the trailer. I wish I didn't watch the trailer. I mean, I didn't know that it was going to show all of this. Oh, wow. Look at these things that are there. Bruh. Bruh. Why did they not let him in? There's nothing that stopped them from not letting him in. It's not that it got full. What? Oh, and now he just got... Okay. What was the point of that? Bruh. <laughs> what the... Wait, 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 so he was charging and then he just came to a walk and walked into frame. What? Were they not just screaming and charging as fast as they could? And he just walks into frame walking and hugs the girl. Okay. I like to please end here. I really want to, it to just end right now. Fade to credits. Oh, uh, no. That would have been hilarious. This is so poorly executed. I don't think there's very much budget spent on any of stunt coordination or <laughs> any other actors. Oh, cast it into the fire, Isildur! No. Let's ask the doctor. Wait, so there were four aliens total? But there are no aliens. You killed all the aliens. 
Jesus, what are you talking about? This is not the time to kill anyone, human or aliens. You killed all of the aliens. Uh. <laughs> Why is this still going on? Okay. So, so far, my final predictions were completely accurate. Bruh. So that was like two minutes of action. And that was our climax. What was that? Did they like slow that down for the dub? What just happened? <laughs> you already is it? Is he Jesus? Is that what they're implying? He is the Messiah. Heaven on earth is... Oh! Poggers! We get, we get to see another action scene. I really hope it just, like, cuts to credits after he says the, um... Hope you... What was it? Since you like wood so much, eat this. And then it, like, cuts to credits. Like, implying that there was going to be a big battle. I really think... I really hope it ends the same way the trailer ends. Where it, like, fast cuts back and forth. I think it might. I feel like it might. Never mind. Okay. It's different. Never mind. Ah, uh, I'm so... Oh, man. There's, like, four of them. Why are the aliens not shooting? How thrilling. <laughs> How incredibly thrilling. And exciting. Oh, now that... Bruh. So they killed like a dozen people but it's okay because we were considering killing them you know you know maybe maybe not let's just keep them over there okay they did die well i mean we were probably leaning that direction anyway there were probably some public executions you know what was up there in that hive anyway like, there were only four aliens in the whole facility, so what What was up there? Why was it so big? Fade to black. End. Credits. Oh. <laughs> I really hope it ends this way. Bruh. I'm really... I did not expect this. I expected a lot of things. I did not expect this. Bruh. Bruh. I'm so- I sure am glad that they stopped. <laughs> I sure am glad that they stopped. They're reloading. Oh, now they're triple the amount that came out at first. Why? Oh, now there's just half of them. Okay, whatever. This is going to be like the Avengers, like, I can do this all day. How did they, like, lose their weapons, but not, like, their lives? And so you're not going to kill all of them? <laughs> oh, 
I am Spartacus. Bruh. What? Bruh. No, no, not the CG aliens from Star Wars to Attack of the Clones. <laughs> they're gen what is it genosin genotions they're like whatever it doesn't matter it's all incredibly dull oh it's literally like a half-life model Bruh, I really wanted to end with them just killing him. Oh, what? Bruh. The president? Bruh. How awesome. <laughs> Where are they getting swords? <laughs> One of them fell. Oh, I'm not even shocked anymore. Like, I, I, I think I'm going numb. Like, not visual, not with my eyes. I mean, just, like, my body. I think I'm going into, like, a... I'm about to go into cryostasis for 40 years. <laughs> Alien apocalypse will be real in 20 minutes. Who just... Fade, okay, dip to white. Okay, I guess. <laughs> He's already filled with arrows. Oh no, this is editing. Now this is editing. <laughs> Whoa, okay. This is awesome. <laughs> no! Was that Jeff or the president? Was that the president? Oh, just that, did he stab him multiple times or is that just his blood? Interesting how they only sp like squirt blood from specific places. Well, I don't, to be fair, I've never seen a decapitated head in real life, in person. <laughs> Why did I have to put so many disclaimers on that? That's a bit disturbing. So they're just going full kill bill. Okay. It's the same alien. There's only one left. They just, they just feel like it. I mean, he's the messiah, so I guess he can just sort of do whatever. Bruh. How awesome. How epic. How epically awesome. How derrickly epic. <laughs> so I guess he's done? They're done, right? I really... End like this. Have him go... Madness. Madness. <laughs> no, he's gonna have like a Jesus speech. He's gonna have a Jesus speech. My friends, you bow to no one. <laughs> the Lord of the Rings theme just blatantly rips it off. Not even rips it off, just literally plays the copyrighted theme. Do 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 do. I 
I thought you said now's not the time to be killing any human or alien. I guess to the genocide of their people. Okay. Wow, it's a, it's a, it's about friendship. <laughs> He's like Jesus. Is that that's literally what they're implying? Oh, you know how people interact, you know, they just wait in a line to say their line, <laughs> to, to read their bit from the script. God bless the doctor. Okay. He was doing the narration? Pippin, or whatever his name is? Literally Pippin? Do do do. <laughs> Now Frodo must go to the Grey Havens. <laughs> okay, this is parody. Our Liberator. This has to be like satiricalizing like Lord of the Rings, Planet of the Apes. If only they made it more obvious that this was like a joke. Oh, the fade to black. Okay. Oh, and that goes. That is some fast credits. All right. <laughs> they no one. It's it's going so fast because no one wants to be associated. So they're just like, okay, get it over with. Go 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 go. Oh man. That that oh. Translators. There was no. Okay. I guess you could listen to this, and I'm so. Well. I mean, they, they, they made their movie. They made their movie. They really did. Thanks to Sci-Fi Pictures. Apollo Media. I'm, well, we did it. I, we, we really watched that. All right. Well, thank you guys for listening to the commentary track. Hopefully none of you actually listened to this, but if you did, I'm so sorry. <laughs>